in hell and everything out there. That's why we're doing it. It's not that we are mad at you down Thank here. Thank you. It's we're mad because we're not getting the service in our area. Uh, Mr. Albert, and if you'd like to, uh, any of the material you have on your program, if you want to go ahead and submit it to the city manager, we'll take a look at it. But we have a two-minute limit, as you know. Mr. Baca. Can I approach? Yeah, you have two minutes. You, you have to stay right there, yeah. If you need some assistance. Uh, I just wanted to counsel me. Yeah, right down here. We'll, we'll, uh, the clerk will help you here with your... Uh, display. My name is Mark Bach. I live at 454 22nd Street. Um, I also serve on the Golden Hill Planning Committee as a board member. And this is my personal opinion and it does not reflect the views of the organization that I work for. Mr. Vargas, there are 153 sex offenders that live in 92102 area code. This is where I uh, Mr. Baca, I want to interrupt you. You, you uh, during this public comment, let me finish. You cannot refer to any particular council member. Just state your opinion on a particular issue. But this is not a time to debate the okay, issue. Okay, this is Just regarding 92103. Thank you. Okay, no, not a problem. This is where I live, and this is where some uh, council mem member lives. On Friday, September 11th, a council member appeared at Sh Sherman Elementary School with the media. <clears throat> concerning the lax enforcement of, of Megan's law. The issue was regarding five sex offenders who were released from Donovan State Prison and placed less than two blocks away from Sherman Elementary S School and Our Lady Church in Sherman Heights. This is pathetic that this could even happen. If this was Coronado, La Jolla, any other neighborhood, there would have been an uproar. Mr. Vargas, I'm not here to, to pinpoint you, but you, in the article in the Tribune, you did not offer any solution. You wanted to seek a emergency legislation that would put the convicts back in prison and you wanted the San Diego Police Department to follow them for 24 hours. Your time is up. Thank Mr. you, Mr. Chair. I'm going to respond since he did address it to me. Uh, all five have been moved. None of them now is in that uh, area code according to the police. I also, of course, thought that was outrageous. By the way, I live in that, uh, that zip code with my daughter and wife. Right. So obviously sex offenders are a predatory group that uh, I have great concern about. And, and lastly, it wasn't the city that put them there. It was state law that allowed him out. And hopefully you'll look to state law also. It was not the city. City police didn't want him there. City police didn't put him there. They ultimately were able to, to move them. The state was the one that put him there. I think you should get your facts straight next My time. Thank you. In fact, Ian, I understand that the, uh, uh, the, international, the uh, intergovernmental relations uh, office is, is uh, I know, working with this in terms of state legislation. But uh, thank you for your comments. Let's move on. Mr. Stilwell.